Matt Fletcher here uh, in another attic. Uh, this one's in Hamtramck. This house probably built about 1910. It's another vent that isn't cut out to full size. See there's a vent there. Um, it's cut out maybe to half the size it should be. That's really, really common. Uh, and I only count one, two, that one's not fully cut out either. Three. So first of all, that's not enough vents. Secondly, when I was outside, I counted four can vents on the roof, and I only see three cut out in here. So one of them isn't even cut out at all. So, uh, you know, under, they're not cut out to full size. One's not cut out at all. Um, so those are issues that home inspectors look for. Another thing is, uh, you know, there's no insulation in the attic. You can see that. You've got knob and tube wiring. There it is. Knob and tube wiring. You've got the old cast iron plumbing, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It looks like it's okay. I don't see any cracks in it or anything. Sometimes these old houses, that cast iron plumbing will crack right wide open. Here they replace some of it with some PVC. That's nice. And that's the way you're supposed to do it right there. You're supposed to go to the larger size. I think that's three inch there. So they went from, is that two inch? That's two inch up to three inch because when you go through the roof, you're supposed to have that bigger pipe. And I think it's because of frost. The, uh, the temperature outside, you know, is colder and the, the pipe could frost up and freeze over and then you won't get airflow. You know, this is really to let air into the line, into the system, so the sewage flows. That's what that's actually for. Um, so anyway, uh, what else? Uh, you could see that this has, was originally sheathed or sheeted, as they say, in 1x6, rough sawn 1x6. And that was because it had a wood shake roof on it, and those gaps were left in there so that the, uh, probably one, for that you use less material, and two, I've been told, so that the wood shingles would dry out after a hard rain, so you could get some airflow in there. So, you know, who knows if that's true, but that's what everybody runs around saying. So later on, um, they put a, they tore all that off. They tore off the wood shake shingle. It probably had two or three layers of asphalt on it, and they tore that off. And they sheeted it with this OSB. Some people call that plywood, but that's OSB, oriented strand board. And uh, then put some asphalt shingles on it. So, uh, what else? These are called collar ties here. They're not wall ties, they're collar ties. And you, really, you don't have enough here, but this house is so old, I don't think it's going anywhere. The roof structure's not sagging any more than normal in an old house like this. It's, you know, these roof rafters are two by fours, but it's real steep. And if they were sagging, you could build a knee wall up under here to help support it. But these collar ties uh, help. Anyway, that's it. Oh, this uh, trap door here. See how he's got this big trap door for the stairway to keep the cold air from coming down. Oh, it's on a, it's on a block. It's on a weight. Look at that. 